So how do you know uh, what your budget should be? Uh, let me talk about that a little. I wrote this uh, blog a while back, and there's a couple tools in here that you can use to help figure this out. Uh, basically, your budget should be as much as possible, as long as it's profitable, right? And if AdWords is not profitable, then you should not be spending any money on it. So ultimately, you need to look at how profitable your campaign is, um, what, what types of leads and conversions you're getting. Um, if you're getting those profitably, then you would want to spend as much as possible, right? If you're not making money on the conversions you're getting from AdWords, then you should not be spending money. But we all have to start somewhere. You're not going to know immediately whether your campaign is going to be profitable or not. So as a general rule, um, you'd want to spend for at least a month. You'd want to run a campaign for at least one month. And for that month, your budget should basically be the amount of money you can afford to lose. So if you don't make one sale, if you don't get one new customer from your campaign for the whole month, how much money can you really afford to lose? Okay, maybe that's $500. And in that case, your daily budget should be $16.67, which is just your $500 divided by 30. Okay, if you can afford to lose $3,000, then you can start with a daily budget of $100. Now, of course, you would hope not to lose all of this money in your first month. You would hope to get at least some customers from it. Um, but you don't want a huge surprise either. You want to be prepared for the worst. So in your first month, um, in general, you'd want to set a budget that you could afford to completely lose. Okay, taking this a, a step further, if we want to get a little more specific, what we'd want to do is look at your cost per click and your average lifetime value per customer. So to, to predict your cost per click, you can use Google's Keyword Planner. Um, and I'll give, you, I'll give you the link for this blog post and a link for the Keyword Planner. So let's use an example. Um, I think I've used this example before in this course of a roofing company in Chicago, Illinois. <clears throat> so to, to help figure out what our cost per click would be, I'm going to enter our keyword here, roofing companies, and then we'll enter the target location, Chicago, and then we'll get ideas. And Google is going to give us some data here. They're going to suggest a bid of what they think we should bid on that keyword for the area that we're targeting. So you can see roofing companies, $14.19. And then some related keywords, uh, oops, roofing contractors, $14.75. Uh, some roof repair, so you can see some of these are a lot cheaper, $7.50 um, for some roofing repair keywords. Uh, some keywords that a, a roofing company shouldn't be bidding on, like roof shingles, uh, is only $2.04. We want to look at the keywords that are going to be most valuable to us. So things like roofing companies, roofing contractors. Okay, and then to estimate our cost per click, um, I'd suggest rounding up. So $14, uh, if that's what Google's suggesting, we would hope to pay less than that. But to be safe, let's assume we're going to pay $15 per click. So we can edit, we can enter that here, 
$15 predicted cost per click. Now for a roofing company, um, what is our lifetime value per conversion? And we want to look at this based on profit. So if we're going to assume that, um, that we're only going to do one roof per customer uh, per lifetime, which is fair to do in this case because you're, you may do multiple jobs, but they're going to be spaced, what, 15, 20 years apart, right? Um, so in this case, it's, it's acceptable to just look at the one roofing job you're going to do as being the, the lifetime value of that customer. So on that job, if you're making an average profit of uh, $5,000, we'll take a look at what this tool is going to tell us. So $5,000 average lifetime value per conversion. So for the conversion rate needed to break even, we're taking uh, 5,000, which is the value of one customer, and dividing it by $15 per click. And that's giving us about 333 clicks, right? Um, yeah, so out of 333 clicks then, we just need one customer to break even. So one out of 333 is 0.3% conversion rate. Okay, now using that information, um, if you can afford it, and again, um, going back up to here, you should really only start with the amount of money you can afford to lose for your first month. But if you can afford it, I'd recommend spending about, if this conversion rate looks reasonable to you, I'd recommend spending about five times your average customer value uh, for your budget, okay? Um, that way you should, if you're just breaking even, you should get about five customers in that first month. And of course, this example I gave uh, might sound high to a lot of people spending $25,000 on a campaign. Uh, but there are a lot of roofing companies in the country spending well over $25,000 a month on their AdWords campaigns. But because the lifetime value is so high, um, that actually makes sense to do. And they're definitely getting a lot more than five conversions. Uh, let's look at a, a different example. Let's say our predicted cost per click is $2 and our average profit per customer is $100. Okay, so a, a, lower, a lower value product or service, uh, cost per click isn't as high. Now we need a 2% conversion rate to break even. Um, but with a lower value service, it, that's probably a lot more uh, doable. Um, obviously, the higher your, your service cost is, the lower your conversion rate tends to be, um, just because there's a longer purchase cycle involved and uh, you know, pe people take longer to make it a decision to spend twenty thousand dollars on a roof than they might spend to than they might take to spend three hundred dollars on a dog training class or something like that, right? So the conversion rate for lower priced products tends to be higher, not always, um, but in this case we would need a two percent conversion rate to break even, and then that gives us a recommended starting investment of $500. So these are just um, guidelines. Okay, I don't want you to to go exactly by what I'm saying here. 
Um, you need to take in what I've just explained and do what's going to work best for you. Um, but definitely don't spend more in the first month than you can afford to lose. Um, and then also look at your predicted cost per click and lifetime customer value and make sure the conversion rate that you will need to break even is reasonable for you. Um, and once you start out, if, if you're breaking even or better, then you can continue to optimize the campaign to start becoming more and more profitable.